Hey guys, I'm super excited about today's video because it's been sponsored by Square Enix. They've asked me to create a cake inspired by their new game Kingdom Hearts 3, which is out on January 29th. I will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. This game is pretty cool because it involves Disney and Pixar characters, old and new, and takes place in a range of Disney and Pixar worlds. They've challenged me to make a gummy ship inspired by the one that's featured in the game, so I'm going to start by showing you how to make the sponge. I'm going to do Madeira it's much easier to stack the cakes and to carve it. So you want to grab your caster sugar and your butter and you want to beat these for a good five minutes. Let me know in the comments box down below if you've played any of the other games in this series so far and what you thought about them. As you can see, after those five minutes, it's so much creamier and it's paler in colour. Now there are a lot of eggs to add, so you want to add these about two at a time. And then if it feels like your mixture's curdling, just scoop in a bit of the flour. Now once that's all mixed in, you want to take the bowl off as we're going to fold in the rest of the ingredients. Now don't forget to get everything off the beater, you don't want to leave anything behind. So I have two flours I need to sift in, I've got some self-raising flour and some plain flour. This is going to help the sponge rise. If you could pick any Disney or Pixar character, who would it be? I'd love to know who your favourite is. I'm going to fold this in a bit together first before I add in the vanilla and the milk. You want to make sure you don't overbeat this. So as long as you've got no flour pockets in there, that is the mixture done. You want to pour that into your baking tray, lined with some baking paper and greased around the side with some butter. I usually like to scoop the centre out a bit, up to the edges, so I don't have too much of a dome in the middle. But once that's all spread out, that can go in the oven, and as always, I will leave the ingredients listed down below. Once your sponges are out of the oven, you're going to have three 9 by 13 inch sponges, and for the main body of the cake, you're going to use two of those to get four square cakes. Now, I've already cut some out. I used a ruler for these, and these measure 5 by 5 inches. You can make these bigger or smaller, I just think 5 by 5 is a nice size. So I'm going to place that on top of my second sponge, I'm going to cut around it and use the squares as a template. Make sure you don't get rid of any of the excess sponge as we're going to use this as part of the cake a bit later. So pop it in a box for now and keep it covered so it doesn't dry out. As this cake is going to be pretty big, I'm using a piece of foam board as the cake board and I've also cut it out to the shape of the cake. This is also going to mimic the tail of the gummy ship. So now I'm going to start adding my cake onto the centre back part of the board. To secure the cake down, I just like to add a bit of buttercream, that's going to help glue it down. Add on your first square. Once you're happy with the placement, you want to add buttercream on top. Now when stacking your cake, you want to get it to 5 inches high, so that means it'll be 5 by 5 by 5, a 5 inch cube. Now that might mean you're using 4 sponges, that might mean you're using only 3 or 3.5, three but you want to make sure it is 5, otherwise it won't be a cube. So I've only actually had to use 3 of my sponges, and I'm just going around now trying to get a nice sharp corner.
Now before the buttercream sets, you wanna roll over your red fondant, and it wants to be about two to four millimeters thick, and so it doesn't stick to your surface, add some corn flour, don't worry, you won't taste it, and you'll be able to brush it off later. So as you're rolling, make sure you keep lifting it up so it doesn't stick on the surface. And you wanna get about 15 inches long and wide. That way it really will cover the whole cake. And then I find it's easier to roll the icing onto the rolling pin. That way you can pick it up all together and drape it across. Lift it up and then drape that over. And you wanna work quite quickly, bringing the icing into the corners. Start off using your hands and then if you have a cake smoother, go to one of those and that will really rub out any of the areas that are a bit bumpy. Don't worry if it's not perfect as things are getting added onto the side and on the top anyway, so don't worry about that. And then using a butter knife, don't worry if you don't have any fancy tools, butter knife, just push that under and it will create a nice neat finish. It's time to start using the scrap pieces of cake to make two mini cakes to sit either side of that red cube. So I'm gonna start cutting. You want it to be about two thirds long and you want it to be about halfway up the cube. So with these small cakes, you wanna do the same as the big cake. You wanna add a crumb coat, just keeping all those crumbs in, and that will also help glue the fondant on. And you wanna attach those to the side of the cube. The buttercream will glue it on. And then now I'm going to roll out some orange fondant and cover both of those small little cakes. So you wanna roll that out, making sure it's big enough to cover the cake. And then because it fits quite snugly next to the red cube, I'm actually going to take my pizza cutter and start with a nice sharp edge. That way I don't have to do too much fiddling once it's on the cake. And like with the red, smooth that down with your hands, making sure to try get a nice sharp edge. And then I'm just going to rub the top of the fondant with some kitchen roll. It just helps get rid of the corn flour. The cake is finally starting to come together. I'm now gonna start with the nose section of the gummy ship. So I'm onto my third sponge. I'm gonna cut that into four, and then I'm gonna make each section four by four. So slightly smaller than the original cube. Once again, as my cake is quite thick, I'm only going to need three of the squares, but you might need the four, so don't chuck it away. Don't chuck any cake away, eat the scraps. I wanted to give my board a quick trim before I added on the second layer. Now until the end of the cake, I'm gonna keep trimming that end because you don't really want to be able to see it. You just want to be able to sit your cake on it. So I'm gonna add another layer of buttercream now. Now with this little cake, I'm not gonna add a crumb coat on yet because we need to carve it and then we'll add the crumb coat. So taking a sharp knife, I'm going to cut a triangle down the top. So in the middle, straight down to the middle of the second layer and then I'm gonna cut it under. So basically you're trying to make a diamond shape. So when it comes to the carving section, really just start little bit by little bit. You can always cut more off, but it's so much harder to add the cake back on. Once you are then happy with your shape, you can go ahead and crumb coat it. I'm now gonna cover that with three strips of fondant. Two are gonna be red with a yellow in the middle. And to get those strips nice and accurate, you wanna measure how long it is, divide it by three, and then that is gonna be how wide your strips need to be. It's 
It is time to get making the Rice Krispie Treats. We've done as much as we can do with the sponge, and I'm going to use Rice Krispie Treats to mold out all of the other shapes I need to do. This is super simple and easy to make. I have some Mars bars, which I've chopped up into some small pieces. It'll help it melt a lot easier. I'm gonna pop that into my pan. For anyone who's not in England, Mars bar is a Milky Way, so you've got a nougat on the bottom and a caramel on top. And into the pan, I'm also gonna add some unsalted butter. So you just wanna stir that together over a low heat. And then if it starts to look like it's separating, don't worry, that's when you turn up the heat and you wanna get that really stirred together and it'll be lovely and smooth and it'll start to thicken as well. And that is the consistency you're after. It's smooth, it's rich, and it's shiny. So I'm now gonna pour about half of the Rice Krispies in. You might not need to use all of the Rice Krispies. It's just until all of that chocolate is soaked in. Now taking some of the Rice Krispies, I'm gonna pour that onto my baking paper. Then I'm gonna roll that into a cylinder about four inches long and one and a half inches wide. And you just wanna roll your baking paper over and keep pressing down to get a nice compact cylinder. You do wanna make two of these cylinders, so make sure it's about eight to 10 inches just so you can cut off any rough ends. On the back of the gummy ship, there are these two fins that almost look like a shark fin. Here's one I made earlier. So I'm gonna compress a load of the Rice Krispie Treats into a tray, and then I'm gonna cut out an almost triangle fin shape. And once you've cut out your first one, you can use that as a template. So those two need to go in the fridge to set. And then finally, for the point at the very front of the ship, I'm gonna add the rest of the Rice Krispies into a bowl. This one's handy because it's got a flat bottom, but if yours doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can just cut it afterwards. And I'm gonna compact that down, and then once that's set, I can carve out the triangle. Make sure you really press that down so you don't have any gaps when it comes out. Now for the fin, I'm going to use the one I made earlier, place it on top and cut round it using it as a template. Because this is a bit of a funny shape, I'm gonna place it onto the fondant and I'm gonna wrap it over, almost like I'm wrapping a present. So now taking my Rice Krispie Treats out of the mold, I'm going to place it next to the cake and I'm gonna start shaving around the outside edge. Like before, start with a small amount because you can always cut more off but you can never really add much on. And then once you have it shaped, you then want to create the nose. So you want to create a triangle in the middle. So from the center, you want to work your way down, creating four sides. Even though it doesn't look even, that is the right shape for my cake. So make sure you keep looking back at the cake to make sure it's the right pyramid. I'm now gonna cover that with fondant and attach it to the cake with some toothpicks. I'm now gonna add the rest of the elements to the cake and I'm gonna help secure them on by using some toothpicks. Just don't forget to tell people that they're in them when you serve them the cake. Once 
On top of the gummy ship, there is a dome. So I'm gonna create that by blowing up a balloon and dipping in some white chocolate. And then I'm gonna paint it in this lovely iridescent pearl blue. <laughs> you then wanna measure this on top of your cake because you don't want it to be too big, you don't want it to be too small. Give your balloon a little wipe down with some water as they always have a dusty coating to them. And then before I dip it into the white chocolate, I'm gonna give it a spray with some fry light. Just anything like cooking release spray will do. That's just gonna help the balloon come away from the white chocolate when we burst it later. So dip it in. Just give that a bit of a shake that will help the white chocolate run down and become smoother. And then I'm gonna sit that into a glass jar, pop that in the fridge, and then I'll repeat this process a second time. You may even want to do it a third time if you want it to be a lot thicker. I'm gonna pop the balloon and release that white chocolate globe. Just place that down into the center. And then I'm not gonna bother with securing that down because I'm gonna add a ribbon of red fondant around the edge. And I think that's gonna hold it down anyway. So in the game, the top of this is blue. You can actually customize your own gummy ship, but I'm gonna keep it the same. And I'm going to paint it with a pearlescent baby blue edible paint. So I've just gone around the cake and done a few finishing touches. I've also rubbed it down with some kitchen roll. That just helps get rid of some of that corn flour. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to the guys at Square Enix for sponsoring this video. I've had such a blast creating a gummy ship inspired by their new game, Kingdom Hearts 3. Don't forget, I will be leaving a link down below because the game comes out on the 29th of January. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this gummy ship. I definitely enjoyed making it and I'll be back soon with another recipe. Bye guys.